Hello friends, so today let me uh, discuss with you a few uh, features, interesting features about Google Docs. So first let me get into my Google Docs. All I have to do is get into my Gmail ID or else in the Google search also you can just type Google Docs then it will get open. But I prefer getting into my Gmail account and I want to open it. So let's wait till it get open so here is my google docs so let me open it so here is the one so once you open the google docs so if you want to learn more about how to use google docs you can i have a link for you in my below description you can just go and have it and here you can see i'm going to prefer a blank document so that i can explain you uh, in a better way and the first and foremost uh, uh, features what I'm going to explain you is it is about voice typing. Just get into tool and tools and get here you can see voice typing. So here if I click I can speak. <clears throat> Hello. <clears throat> How old are you? The next one uh, is about Google Notes. For example, we have here Google Keep. Uh, so those people who have this in your mobile phone and you would have taken few notes in your mobile phone and actually you have kept it here. So that for example, if you want those uh, mobile, uh, uh, what is that called actually, those details to be in your uh, document so all you have to do is just drag and drop here i have a list of email ids in my google account all i'm going to do is just drag and going to drop it here so that i can use it so here you can see all the uh, what is it called <clears throat> all the uh, email ids are here in my screen so that it is very easy just by drag and drop just by using your google keep whatever you have saved in your google keep it can come and the next point comes actually i want to know a meaning of something actually what i have written i'm not really aware of for example let me increase the font size so that it will be visible for you all so i'll keep it in 48 so here I have written N O U N noun. So I am not aware what this means by. So all I'm going to do is just select this. I am going to do right click and all I'm going to ask for the definition of noun. So it will take me to the dictionary. So here you can see a word other than pronoun used to identify any of class of people, place or thing is called noun. And for example, I want more details about this noun. Actually, what I have to do is the same way. Just click here and all I have to do is explore. So here comes explore so all the details and definitions regarding that actually it has come over here and i want images i want to see if there is any images actually related to uh, that topic so that i can here you can see some common noun and proper noun i want this to be in my table so i have just dragged and dropped so that that image can be in my see common noun this is proper noun so this is superb actually which we can use however we want even the images can also be dragged and drop and the next one what i'm going to tell you is add-ons so it is a very interesting thing what we have here in uh, google docs is to get add-ons so just click on add-ons and if you get click on get add-ons so this will get up here those features if you want to have it in your google docs you can just try to install from here for example, you want to have more docs tools actually just click on it and you can just install from here. So here we can see a few tools actually are here like a eraser and 10 to 10 and sorting actually from Z to A. All that are available in this docs tool. If you want, you just have to click install and it will get installed in your computer. And the next important thing is about um, after if you want, if you don't want this Google what is it add-ons to be anymore in your system all you have to do is here you can see manage add-ons so once you click on that manage add-ons it will show the add-on which you have uh, installed in your system then all you have to do is just you have to remove so you can anytime you can add it and you can remove it if you don't want 
So the next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few templates. So which is really amazing and you can work on it. For example, here you can see in the, if you click on this three lines, it will show this page. So after coming to this page, what you have to do is here you can see template gallery. Just click on template gallery. Here you can see so many templates are available here so that whichever template you feel like using it, you can use it. Here I can show you a recipe. Uh, you need not to just type and actually what to say. You need not to just uh, uh, try to format it, but it's ready for you here. All I'm going to do is recipe, let it be there. All I'm going to do is just I'm going to uh, backspace this, delete this, and I'm going to write my own recipe name called, uh, what is that called? Biryani. So I'm going to type here biryani. biryani. And then what I will do is just I will remove this picture. I'll give a backspace and all I will do is I'll go to insert and then I'll click an image and upload from a computer or from a pen drive wherever I have or from camera wherever I have. And all the ingredients actually I'll try to just change it and just all I have to do is I will what I'll do is just I'll delete this one and I will write my own ingredient like something whatever I I feel like so all that ingredients you can type here and the preparation and all this you can just edit or else if you want to have a template regarding uh, what is that called your resume you can make your resume copy so you need not to actually worry about how to make a very professional uh, resume for your uh, job and all that so here you can see just all you have to do is just uh, select and actually edit and you have to change your name and your company title all that you have to do so this is a very interesting thing in this and um, the next comes to uh, something called revision history so let me introduce you with that so it's really something interesting for example you have not come to your office for such a long time for a week and you don't know what are the changes they have made in their documents and you want to know what are the changes they have made and how you're going to learn how the project has um, has come to this this is uh, <clears throat> what is actually to this level so you want to know about all that there will be something called revision history when and what edition has happened what they have updated so all you can come to know for example this is some some just think actually this document i have just created one day before uh, so what i'm going to do is just i'm going to click on file and all i'm going to see is See here is a version history so i'm going to click this and i'm going to see c version history so once i click on here you can see uh, what are the changes i have made and which date on what time i have made you can see all the things so on july 28 4 45 a.m my document was like this and actually when it was on tuesday it is like this on now the current version at 1 10 a.m the document is like this so so this by using this so if you are even uh, have a off from your office actually for such a long uh, time and you're back again and you want to know what has happened in the document changes made in it so you can using this revision history you can know what it has uh, what what the changes has been and the next one is actually what i want to tell you is regarding for example, I had I have written a word in my uh, thing I, which I am not uh, sure about the spelling. For example, I am I am writing pronunciation. Okay, so what I'm going to write pronunciation here. Let me check uh, whether the spelling is correct or not. So all I'm going to see already it is suggesting me in the top layer. See here you can see pronunciation, but just get into tools and all I'm going to do is spelling and grammar so i'm going to click on it here you can see spelling and grammar check so spelling suggestions show grammar suggestion so you can click on both spelling and grammar check here here you can see that it shows me begum is actually what i should change when i think i have to change when think i shouldn't put see here it shows me when i think i should write so what i will do is it is showing me the grammatical mistake at the same time i'm going to just accept it so here you can see when i think and change always why me too so always why me Two. I have to add here a preposition called two, so it shows me. So I will. What I'll do is just I'll accept it. So then, uh, so once I accept, it will automatically. It will. I even 
you can change my grammatical mistakes too it's quite interesting see here you can see the changes and then change why me to and i want this to be translated my document to be translated in some other uh, what is that calls uh, what i need to say to some other language so all i have to go is get into the tools and here an amazing option is here here you can see a translate document and all i'm going to do is just choose a language so what i'm going to do is I'm going to choose a language. I'm going to choose language as Urdu because it's my mother tongue. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to translate it. So let me see whether it is really translating. <laughs> so here you can see it's really amazing that it, it has got translated only those sentences which I really wanted to translate. So the next I want to write, leave a comment so that people can understand what I have written in my document. So all I have to do is just right click here and here is a comment section and what I'm going to write is, how about you? I'm fine and you question mark. So something you wanted to comment. So this comment can be seen by your all your team members so that what you're trying to tell about that they can have a note of it so in your editing you are in the editing mode you can when they click on the suggesting option so this will get displayed for them so that they can even edit and also they can suggest the point comes to drawing so it's a very interesting thing that we have drawing here so all i'm going to do is going to have a drawing board so that i can draw whatever i want and i can insert in this if i want to have a circle triangle whatever i want to draw like arrows columns so let me show you just by so this is this that's it so all i'm going to do is save and close whatever you want to write you can write and it will be immediately wherever you have kept your cursor it will come over here so this is one more interesting and the other one what i want to tell you is for example i want to uh, search for abdul kalam's picture so what i'm going to do is abdul kalam I'm going to type here and what I'm going to do is just right click here and I'm going to explore about him who is he and what is what is his profession or so he's Abdul Kalam now I want his images actually because I'm writing something article about him so what I have to do is just I have to drag this and drop it in my what size however I want I can do so here you can write your article and whatever you want to write so this is one more thing as i told you earlier try to download this extension in your uh, system called office editing for docs sheets and slides without your ms office and without having internet you can what to say you can operate it in your computer so for example already i have a link for you actually in the below description box so regarding this how to work without internet and ms office you can go and explore it more so that you can learn how to do it so the, the next point here is when you share this document it will be in a link format so that it will need not to download and also need not to again the editing process again you have to download and edit it but here in this part when you just have to even if you want to copy link you can do the copy link so as of now i don't want to share because all those details i have shared with my other uh, videos so which i have uh, in my description box you can go and have a look enjoy with all this uh, amazing features and learn more and explore more grow high thank you so much for listening take care